Okay, uh, first, hello everyone. Firstly, I want to thank uh, the organizers of the session for having me here today. So in this presentation, I will talk about the site of Beche Sultan and the new chronology that has been suggested by the renewed excavations uh, at the site. After discussing uh, the new proposed chronology by the new excavators and taking uh, it as a starting point, I will try to combine textual and archaeological data in order to conclude whether the new chronology can bring forward new conclusions. So, as you may or may not know, Beja Sultan is situated some 300 kilometers from the Aegean coastline in northwestern Anatolia on a fertile valley at the upper Meader River. As far as the excavation of this site is concerned, um, the first excavations took place from 1954 to 1959 by Seton Lloyd and James Mayer, whereas in 2007, uh, Esref Abbey started new excavation seasons at the site. As far as the chronology is concerned, the first excavation project suggested that the late Bronze Age uh, at Beja Sultan was represented by four layers, uh, namely layers 3, 2, 1b, and 1a. Major dated layer 3 at the 14th century uh, based on a Mycenaean pottery fragment uh, corresponding either in late Hellenic 3a or 3b, which was found in the platform of layer 3. As for layer 2, Major dated it uh, to the 13th and early 12th century centuries, and finally the two last layers uh, were dated after the fall of the Hittite Kingdom, namely in the 12th and 11th centuries BC. The new excavation project confirmed that uh, late Bronze Age Beja Sultan comprised by four layers, namely layer 6, which corresponds to layer 3 uh, of the old excavation, layer 5b, which corresponds to layer 2, uh, layer 5a, which corresponds to layer 5, 1b, a, 1b, and layer 4, which corresponds to layer 1a. For the remainder of my presentation, I will use uh, the new numbering of the late Bronze Age uh, layers. Uh, so, 10 C14 samples that were taken by the new excavators uh, from layer 5 documented that the new dating should be applied for late Bronze Age Beja Sultan. More specifically, layer 6 is the earliest late Bronze Age layer, but no date has as yet been proposed. Uh, the new excavator, excavators date layer 5b from 1700 to 1600 BC and layer 5a from 1600 to 1500 BC. Uh, layer 5a, 5b ended with a violent fire destruction uh, based on the C14 samples uh, at uh, 1830 to 1685 BC the earliest and at 1530 to 1410 BC the latest with an average chronology of 1680 to 1547 BC. No C14 samples were taken from uh, level 4, however the new excavators dated based on the pottery samples between the 14th and 12th centuries BC. Uh, in this presentation I will discuss two different scenarios as for the cause of the destruction of layer 5b. In the first one I will use the average chronology of the earliest and latest dates, uh, namely from 1680 to 1547 BC. And the second one I will use the latest chronology, namely from 1530 to 1410 BC. I personally favor the average chronology because the archaeological and the textual evidence and the C14 samples as we will see later on collaborate better with this date. On the other hand, the latest chronology has also a big percentage of probability and this is why I mentioned it as well in this presentation. So layer 5b manifests the continuation of level 6. Both levels have strong local character and in terms of pottery and domestic architecture and there is very scarce evidence for connections with Southern Anatolian Plateau. As I said before, layer 5b ended with a violent fire destruction and both the old and the new excavators suggested that this destruction was possibly caused uh, by invasion since in some rooms human skeletons were found and two of them used uh, pithoi vessels as hiding positions. Layer 5a it was immediately built after the destruction of uh, the previous layer. In this fa uh, phase, the inhabitants performed some modifications and repairs uh, to the buildings of the previous phase. During this phase, archaeologists have identified the change in the architectural plan of the settlement. First of all, the so-called Little Palace, uh, which was destroyed at the end of layer 5b, seems to have been abandoned completely, and, uh, and um, layer 5a does not seem to have a central administrative building um, as uh, there was in the previous phase. Moreover, the houses in the previous phase were characterized by a living room and a connected storage room. In layer 5a, the houses of the settlement had a living room and an L-shaped cart, and they lacked a storage room. Furthermore, except for the changes in domestic architecture, 
Uh, the shrine area R, in which uh, shrines can be detected since the early Bronze Age, was abandoned. Thus, the new excavators of Bet Sultan have suggested that these changes uh, in the overall uh, settlement architecture documented change in the settlement organization. As far as the pottery of this layer is concerned, the analysis of the pottery assemblages of the previous excavations indicated that after the destruction of layer 5b, there is introduction of 20 new pottery uh, shapes in level 5a. A differentiation in the ornamentation of the pottery in contrast to level uh, 5b. And finally, an adaptation of a new pottery style, namely the use of burnished ware. Furthermore, some shapes of the newly introduced pottery have parallels with North Central uh, Anatolian sites. More specifically, Beza Sultan in this phase documents the introduction of Hittite burnished red, orange, uh, or porcelain uh, colored flasks, tall jars with crescenting handles, lentoid bottles, libation arms, hemispherical balls, and large dishes in coarse wear with uh, rock impressed um, ornament. All the aforementioned shapes have parallels to Hattusa. However, since the previous excavations dated this phase after the collapse of the Hittite Kingdom, and this kind of pottery, especially the flasks and the um, bottles primarily dated in the 15th and 14th centuries BCE, they believed uh, that the new shapes did not represent the Hittite influence. However, par uh, parallels for uh, the lentoid flasks and jugs exist already since the 16th century BCE. In an article, Claudia Glatt describes the presence of Hittite pottery types at various uh, sites in Anatolia, among them Beit Sultan. In her chart, we can see that the proportion of Hittite and local pottery uh, types at level 6 and 5b is steadily 20% Hittite and 80% local in both levels. Um, yeah. Whereas in levels 5a and 4, which based on the previous chronology, Glatt dates to the Iron Age, um, Sorry, I lost the yeah. uh, We observe an increase, an increase in the proportion of Hittite pottery types up to 40% alongside the 60% of uh, local pottery. Thus, the above evidence documents an increased Hittite influence after the destruction of level 5b in a previously heavily locally oriented uh, settlement, which combined with the new dating uh, can be easily attributed within the Hittite lifespan and not after its collapse. I'm not saying that the increased Hittite influence observed in the pottery is evidence for Hittite control over Beit Sultan, but I rather point towards an influence of the Hittite material dated now at the dawn of the Hittite era, which due to previous chronology has gone unnoticed. So if we combine the new evidence that came to light through the new excavations of the Beit Sultan with the architectural and the pottery publications of the earlier excavations and the textual evidence from the Hittite kingdom, it is possible to associate the destruction of phase 5b with wider historical events that took place around this period in this region. However, I should mention at this point that the suggestions that I will make uh, later on uh, constitute only some possible scenarios from the many that may have taken place. Having said that, I mentioned earlier that the new excavation concluded that the destruction of this layer happened between 1830 to 1685 BC, the earliest, and 1530 to 1410 BC, the latest. I explained earlier that in this presentation I will use two scenarios, one with the average chronology and one with the latest one. So starting with uh, the average chronology, in the Hittite text there is no other military expedition uh, mentioned before the 15th century against Western Anatolia, um, except that of Hattusilis I. In the annals of his campaign against Archawa, located in Western Anatolia, we find a simple sentence, in the following year I marched against Archawa and uh, took cattle and sheep. This sentence, although it shows that Hattusili conducted the first recorded uh, attack of the Hittites against Archawa, it does not give us more evidence uh, such as the conquest of cities. So it seems that perhaps his campaign was a raid rather than a fully developed campaign. However, it's possible the destruction layer at Bethesda to be attributed to such a raid. In a much lighter text from the early 13th century BC, in the so-called Alexander Treaty, we have further evidence for another possible campaign of La Barna identified with Hattusili I in Archava, where he may have conquered various cities in uh, Western Anatolia. Thus, although the textual evidence is not plentiful for that particular period, the available text demonstrates that Hussili had at least once ha campaigned against uh, Archava, and thus the destruction of Beit 5b, if we use the average chronology, may have been caused during Hattusili's era. Moving on to the second scenario, namely to the latest chronology, at the end of the 15th century, Hittite texts provide us the first surviving description of Hittite military expeditions against Western Anatolia, after the time of Hattusili I. More specifically, in the annals uh, of the Hittite king Tuthaliga I, 
uh, for hated campaigns against Western Anatolia are mentioned. In this presentation, I will analyze uh, only two out of these four campaigns, which appear to be of much bigger scale than the rest. The first of these two campaigns uh, com yes, uh, took place uh, when 22 Western Anatolian states created a confederacy as a reaction to a previous campaign made by Tutkhalia, called collectively the Asuvan Confederacy in the King's Annals. However, this political entity did not achieve to defeat the Hittites and got crushed by Tutkhalia. This battle took place approximately in the second half of the 15th century BC, and the aftermath of the battle was extensive conquest and looting of various Western Anatolian sites. Uh, the second major campaign uh, that is mentioned in the, the Hittite text took place a little bit later, but still um, around 1400 BC, and again in the time of uh, Tuthal I, and then it can also be associated with uh, the destruction layer. The story of this campaign can be found in the so-called Edictment of Madwata, in which it is mentioned that Madwata's family was captured and taken as prisoners at the city of Salawasa by the king of Archawa, named Kupanta Kurunda, and that Uthalia sent military force in order to assist Madwata. According to Hoggins, uh, the site of Betsy Sultan was probably a prominent site in the land of Kubalija, and James Merritt uh, believed that Betsy Sultan could be identified with the aforementioned Salawasa. However, the identification of Betsy Sultan with Salawasa is not certain, and at the moment we can only say that Betsy Sultan was pro a prominent site in the land of uh, Kubalija, and that the campaign of Tuthalija in the region um, uh, might have caused the destruction of layer 5P, regardless whether or not we associate Bitsa Sultan with Salawasa. Um, in other words, the text suggests that at the region of Bitsa Sultan, around the date of the destruction uh, layer, a hidden military campaign associated with the Madwad affair took place, and it's extremely plausible for us to accept that the prominent site in the region um, as Bitsa Sultan would have been a primary target for the Hittite troops. As I mentioned in the beginning of my presentation, I do not favor the latest chronology, namely the time of Tuthalija I, as under the destruction of Bitsa Sultan happened. The main reason for my reluctance is the fact that only one C14 sample out of seven that were taken from level 5b gave a date of 1530 to 1410 BC, whereas the majority of the samples point towards a date around the time of Hattusili I. Having said that, and bear in mind that polar uh, parallels exist in Central Anatolia since 1600 BC, I tend to favor the, uh, the first scenario. So to sum up, the new dating of Betsa Sultan, based on C14 samples, brought forward the necessity for a reinterpretation of the cultural, the political, and the historical processes that took place at late Bronze Age Betsa Sultan. The data from the first excavations, which were considered of much later, uh, later date than they actually are, can be better explained now and can be combined uh, with uh, the Hittite textual evidence in order to produce a more accurate reconstruction of the historical reality of the time. During the first two late Bronze Age layers, layers 6 and 5b, Betsa Sultan seems to have been a prosperous and thriving community with a strong central administration. However, this prosperity, in my opinion, may have come to an end at the end of the 17th century by Hattusili I. In the next layer, namely layer 5a, the archaeological evidence displays the outcome of this destruction, which was followed by a bigger um, influence of the Hittite culture on Betsa Sultan's material culture, especially when the, material, uh, the cultural material of this level is compared uh, to that of the two previous layers. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank <clears throat> you.